Welcome, Crash Trainers. Desperation, frantic, panic. Those are the, the words that pop in my head as I read and rep out Psalm 69. Save me is how he begins his cry. It's the image of a, a man or a woman in water. And, and they're in deeper water than they can stand. And they are worn out. They are wiped out. And they know, they know if they're not rescued, they're not going to make it. They're going to sink below the water. They're going to die. It makes me wonder if, if David, who wrote this psalm, ever experienced almost drowning, almost gagging on water and mind racing with desperation just to get above. I remember one time I was in a pool with my kids and, and one of them jumped on my back and then I got caught under a, a floaty that was, was right there with someone on it and I couldn't get up. And it was just a brief, brief moment, but the, the panic and uh, franticness that enters your mind is just crazy. That's the crazy David's in. It kind of makes me wonder if, if David created the, the phrase, uh, drowning in life. Have you ever been drowning in life? Has life ever seemed just completely overwhelming? It's overtaking you and you don't know if you're going to make it. Maybe you're a single mom holding down a full-time job, taking care of kids, trying to still be physically fit, just trying to manage all these different things and you're drowning in life. Maybe you're, you're just living paycheck to paycheck and it's looking like this next month, you don't know how you're gonna pay any of the bills. You may be drowning in life. Maybe you just got a diagnosis or you, you know someone who did that you love and it's overwhelming you and you're just drowning in life. See, I love that David doesn't put the specific situation that's causing him to drown because there can be so many different life situations and we're all different. And what he wants to convey is the raw and realness of his situation. He doesn't want it to be dismissed. I was looking at some memes and ones that dealt with drowning in life and one that kept popping up was, um, if you're drowning in life, know that your lifeguard walks on water. It's a reference to Jesus. And I get what they're, they're saying, and yet there's a triteness there. That if I was literally, frantically trying to keep my head above water, I, I wouldn't want to hear that in a sense. I would need a solid, concrete rescuer. I don't need a, a trite saying. I don't, I don't need a high five as I stick my hand out of the water trying to live. I, I don't need just an encouraging statement. I need a savior. And I just want you to know there is one. And it is Jesus. And it is a solid foothold. I don't want to say that just to sound trite. I don't want this this cross training to be trite. I don't, I don't want you just to be like, oh, don't give me that spiritual lecture during this. I need a savior. And that's where the psalmist lands. He says, answer me. Answer me with my request for, for you to save me for, because there's a foundation. There is a foothold he can stand on. And it's God's character. It's who God is, and that's just as real as the overwhelmingness of life. His character when it comes to his love. His character when it comes to his mercy. It's not trite. 
And so I ask you today in the midst of the overwhelmingness of life where it feels like you're drowning, put your foot on his character and may you feel and experience and find relief in his rescue, not necessarily pulling all the evil and overwhelmingness of life away, but allowing you to have a respite today. Allowing you to entrust to someone greater what you need, which is a savior who is real, who didn't have the evil of the cross taken away, but endured it, endured it was overwhelmed by it to give you a place to stand in the waves of life. Cross trainers, I wanna pray for you. So do you just join me? Gracious God, the, the, the workout today is one of just trust. Trusting that your character will uphold us. And so I pray in the overwhelmingness of life that you will just give each person watching this a place to stand where they could put their foot and that you can lift them up above the waters, the troubles, the concerns that are trying to consume them. God, you are greater. We know this. And we do trust you. And so Lord, grant this, we pray in Jesus' name and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessings, cross trainers.